So, day 26. It's uh, a little cold and windy out today, so I'm working on the computer. Um, I was trying to straighten up some files today, and I ran across uh, a folder I had forgotten that I had a few years ago when I worked uh, for a, a large manufacturing company during my college years. Uh, my office was at the top of a stairwell that went up to the second floor of this uh, converted building that we used for our office space. So if anybody came to engineering, they had to come right up the stairs and face my office and then make a decision to turn right or left to go up and down the hallway. And the old building was, uh, you know, kind of open rafter building, open space. So they, when they put these office dividers in, you could also hear uh, conversations up and down the hallway in each, each and everybody's uh, office, really, because the top, the um, walls were still open at the top, you know, uh, open ceiling and exposed rafters and all. So it was a really cool building, real nice. But uh, the only place you could get any privacy was at the conference room on one end of the building or the manager's office on the other end of the building. But anywhere in the middle, you could kind of overhear people's conversations and so on and so forth. And uh, so one day I got an idea to start putting some posts or current events or some kind of topic that everyone was discussing or talking about in my window. Because when you came up the stairs, anybody going or coming had to pass by this window. And uh, anyway, so I found this folder of things I used to paste. And I used to call it my daily quotes. And had quite the platform and quite the following for some couple of years there. And I found one here that was kind of interesting. Um, it's kind of opening my eyes today that uh, I had forgotten about. Again, this whole folder of these daily quotes that I would put up. and I never put anything real controversial. I never talked about anybody in the company or the organization itself or anything like that. It's just mostly, again, just topics of discussion that things were going on around us or current events, local events. So anyway, this one is a parable is the name of it. I'm not sure the origin of where it came from, but it says, Once upon a time, there was a rich king who had four wives. He loved the fourth wife the most and adorned her with rich robes and treated her to the finest of delicacies. He gave her nothing but the best. He also loved his third wife very much and was always showing her off to her neighboring kingdoms. However, he feared that one day she would leave him for another common in today's world. Uh, he also loved his second wife. She was his confidant and was always kind, considerate, and patient with him. Whenever the king faced a problem, he could confide in her the most, and she would help him get through the difficult times. The king's first wife was a very loyal partner and had made great contributions along the way in maintaining his health, his wealth, and kingdom. However, he did not love his first wife. Although she loved him very deeply, he hardly took notice of her. He was always spending most of his effort and time on the other three wives. So one day the king fell ill and he knew his time was getting short. He thought of his luxurious life and wondered, quote unquote, I now have four wives with me, but when I die, I will be alone, end quote. Thus he asked his fourth wife, I have loved you the most, endowed you with the finest clothing, and showered you with great care over all of your life and all of your, your being. Now that I am dying, will you follow me and keep me company? No way, she says. She walked away without another word. Her answer cut like a knife into his heart. The sad king then asked his third wife, I have loved you all my life. Now that I am dying, will you follow me and keep me company? No, she replied. Life is too good. When you die, I'm going to remarry. His heart sank to a new cold. He then asked the second wife, I have always turned to you for help and you've always been there for me. When I die, will you follow me and keep me company? I'm sorry, I can't help you. I can't help you this time, replied his second wife. At the very most, I can only send you to your grave. Her answer came like a bolt of lightning and the king was fully devastated.
And then a voice called out, I'll leave with you and follow you no matter where you go. The king looked up and there was his first wife. She was very skinny and she'd suffered from malnutrition, lack of attention. Greatly grieved, the king said, I should have taken much better care of you when I had the chance. In truth, we all have four wives. Our fourth wife is our body. No matter how much time and effort we lavish in making it look good, it will leave us when we die. Our third wife is our possessions, status, and wealth. When we die, it will go to all the others. Our second wife is our family and friends. No matter how much they have been there for us, the furthest they can stay stay, stay by us is by the grave. Meaning they can't go any farther, right? Um, and our first wife is our soul. Often neglected in pursuit of wealth, power, and pleasure of the ego. However, our soul is the only thing that will follow us wherever we go. So cultivate it, strengthen it, cherish it. And it is your greatest gift to offer the world. When the world pushes you to your knees, you're in the perfect position to look up and pray. So what I'm trying to tell you today is, is uh, of all the things that are going on, uh, don't forget to pray. Spend time with the one that created you and all the beauty that's around you. We're just looking at beauty around us every day out here in this new life. And um, I just wanted to stress that today that don't forget to pray.